For the next 20 minutes, the bacteria in my mouth are going to be turning the sugar in this pop into acid. This pop is going to be harming my teeth in two ways. Number one, it's pretty acidic. It's got uh, carbon dioxide, which combines with water to make carbonic acid, and that lowers the pH that creates an acidic environment in my mouth. Also, the sugar, as I mentioned earlier, will be interacting with the bacteria. The bacteria are going to turn the sugar into lactic acid. Lactic acid will eat away at your teeth. There are several things that a person can do to help reduce the damage to their teeth when drinking sugary beverages. One is to avoid sipping and drink quickly. Another is to chase every sip with tap water. And the reason why I say tap water is tap water has fluoride in it and that'll help revitalize the tooth. Diapop is, is better in the sense that it doesn't have the sugar that, that feed the bacteria that create the lactic acid, but Diapop is very acidic because of the carbonation. Fruit juices and sports drinks can also be harmful because they, they generally have a citrusy flavor and that's associated with a low pH. They also oftentimes have lots of sugar in them. You don't have to t stop drinking pop. And a matter of fact, it doesn't have to do with the quantity of pop you drink either. It's the duration of the exposure in the mouth. So if you're sipping the pop slowly, savoring every sip, that's worse than if you down it real fast. Always remember that by taking a sip of tap water, you reduce the damage done to your teeth. So keep that tap water handy, and if you have any questions, please see a dentist, preferably me. This is Dr. Aaron Johnson, helping you feel better about your smile, and don't forget to floss.